This end. This is more like it. Woohoo! You're rocking and I'm rolling. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no, Loli! Little oh, buddy, no. Loli, where are you? Woohoo! That was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> Not until we get you. Shoot. <laughs> huh? Wh what's going on? Where did that chain and lock come from? <laughs> the teeter totter won't move up and down anymore. Oh, that sure takes the fun out of it. Hmm, I wonder who did this. Busy Town Action Bug News! Golf Bug here for Busy Town Action News, reporting live from the playground where the teeter totter has been chained up. What can you tell us about this, Hucko? Well, we were only gone from the playground for a few minutes. And when we came back, we found this lock and chain on the teeter totter. And do you have any idea who put on the lock and chain? Not yet, but that's what I'm going to find out. Team, we have a mystery to solve. The mystery of the lock and chain. Hooray! Ready for it? Here it goes. Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery! as Huckle and his team try to unlock more clues to this intriguing mystery. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Well, we know that the teeter-totter isn't broken because it was working fine when we were on it. So that can't be why someone chained it up. Maybe Mr. Gardner chained it because he saw too many kids riding it at once and now no one can play on it. That makes sense. <laughs> Especially if he saw Loli flying out of the park. <laughs> if we explain to him it was an accident, maybe he'll take the chain off. Look! There he is now! We're sorry, Mr. Gardner. We shouldn't have all been on the teeter-totter at the same time. Huh? It was an accident, uh, sir, Mr. Gardner. I, I, I didn't know I was gonna fly right out of the park. If you take the chain off the teeter-totter, we promise we'll be more careful. Chain? I never put that chain on the teeter-totter. You didn't? 
Oh, goodness, no. Kids love that teeter-totter. I'll go get my toolbox and take that chain off right away. Thanks! But if Mr. Gardener didn't put the chain on the teeter-totter, then who did? To answer that, we need to find more clues. Listen to all those boats honking and whistling. It sounds like a traffic jam on the river. Let's go check it out. But what about solving the lock and chain mystery? We'll get back to it later. Come on! Why won't this thing work? What's wrong? The lift bridge should go up when I push this button. But for some reason, it doesn't want to work. Hmm. Well, that's strange. I see the problem. Someone put a chain around the bridge to stop it from working. Oh, dear. How will I get that chain off? Like this. Stand back, everybody. <laughs> Put a chain around the bridge. Probably the same someone who put a chain around the teeter-totter. But why? What do the bridge and the teeter-totter have in common? I know. They both go up and down. Right, Sally. So if we look for other things that go up and down, we might find more clues. The safety gate goes up and down, just like the lift bridge and the teeter-totter. Excuse me, but has anyone put a lock and chain on this safety gate? Nope. Can't say as I've ever had that happen. I told you not to park it there. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Didn't. Did. What's wrong, guys? We have to walk home. Yeah. Someone chained our car to a lamppost and put a lock on it. Another clue. Come on, team. Let's go take a look. Could I be of assistance, lads? Yes, please. Why would someone put a chain on a car? A car doesn't go up and down. I don't know. There must be another reason why things are being chained. There you go, lads. Yes, thanks! Ooh-wee! Those wheels are noisy! Hey, look what I found! It's a receipt from the Busy Town Hardware Store. <gasps> For a lock and chain! Good work, Sally! That might be the clue we've been looking for. Let's go to the hardware store and see what we can find out. Yes, indeed. Mr. Grunkle's been in the store three times today to buy locks and chains. Three times? Did you hear that? That's how many chains we found. Mr. Grunkle must be the one we're looking for. Ah, mystery solved, right, Huckle? Not quite. We still need to find out why Mr. Grunkle wanted to stop those things from moving. And to do that, We'll need to go to his house to get more information. Go to Mr. Gronkle's house? But he's the biggest grump in busy town. Solving mysteries can't be fun all the time. That's why we're a team. So we can stick together when the going gets grumpy. Come on, team. Let's go. Bye, kids. Have a nice day. We'll try, but it won't be easy when we're with grumpy Mr. Gronkle. Gee, he even looks grumpy when he's sleeping. Okay, who's gonna wake him up? Don't look no at me! No way! You're kidding, right? How am I supposed to relax with all that squeaking going on? 
Hmm. Wait a minute. Now I know why Mr. Gronko put chains on all those things. Why? To stop them from squeaking. Is there anything in Busy Town that doesn't squeak? Goldbug here with an exciting news update. Huckle and his team have solved the mystery of the lock and chain. Huckle, how did you do it? Well, here's what happened. We wanted to know why some things were being chained up, so we tried to find out what they had in common. Then Sally found a receipt for the locks and chains Mr. Gronkle bought at the hardware store. Then we learned that Mr. Gronkle doesn't like things that squeak. The teeter-totter squeaked, the lift bridge squeaked, and the sausage mobile squeaked. So Mr. Gronkle chained them up to stop them from squeaking. Huckle and his team have solved the mystery of the lock and chain. Everybody all together solved the mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Hooray for Huckle! And hooray for the best team in Busy Town. A few squirts of oil will fix that noisy squeak in a jiffy. I'll believe it when I hear it. See? No more squeaks. Hmm. Well, what about that lift bridge and, and that squeaky old sausage car? All taken care of. Even your neighbor's rusty gate hinge. Uh, thank you. You're welcome! Hmm. It's gonna be hard getting the squeak out of that. <laughs> Noisy birds! <laughs> <laughs> the mystery of the unfinished painting. I wonder who that artist could be. Hmm. So do I, Loli. Busy Town Action Bug News! Goldbug here reporting for Busy Town Action News. Huckle, what can you tell us about this marvelous painting you found? Whoa! Actually, the painting sort of found us. You've probably noticed it's very windy out today. Yes, I've noticed. Any idea who the artist might be? No, Goldbug. That seems to be... A mystery! A mystery! Yes, and we're going to solve it by finding out who the mystery artist is. Yay! Yay! Ready for it? Here goes! <gasps> Mysterious artist who lost the unfinished painting. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Goldbug out. Where should we look for clues to find the artist, Huckle? Well, we could start by looking carefully at the unfinished painting. Let's see. 
It's a painting of a man in a uniform. So, if we can find the man in the uniform, we can ask him who was painting his picture. Exactly! So who would know who the man in the uniform is? Let me have a look. I know just about everyone in Busy Town. No, you don't, Pigwill. I know more. Well, I know any alligator. So there. No, you don't. Because it's Alice Alligator. So there. Oh. Well, I know Lizzie Lion. No, you don't. Because it's Lily Lion. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Check out this hat in the picture. You know, I've seen a lot of different kinds of hats, but I've never seen one that looks like that before. Maybe we can ask someone who knows all about hats to help us. Yeah, like Mr. Hatfield at the hat shop. Good thinking. Come on, team, to the hat shop. Let's get busy, town. No, that hat is too plain looking. No, no, it's not fancy enough. No, I want something with more sparkles and more feathers. Welcome to Hatfield's Hats. Have a look around. If you need anything, just ask. Thanks, okay. sir. Howdy, partner. Which way is it to the Tumbleweed Bridge? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Little Bo Peep. I've lost my sheep. <laughs> I'm Chef Hawkle, and I'm going to make the most delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich you have ever tested. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. There's a hat like the one in the picture. Yep, that's it. Good spotting, Sally. Thanks. Excuse me, Mr. Hatfield. Who would wear a hat like this one? Certainly not me. No feathers, no sparkles, not fancy enough. This is an admiral's hat. What's an admiral? An admiral is sort of like the captain of a ship. All sailors on board! Sail to the high seas! Oh, 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 oh so sorry, madam. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Mr. Hatfield. Well, if an admiral is someone you'd find on a ship, we need to go to the ocean where there are ships. Come on, team, to the ocean! Hmm, how are we going to get out there to find which ship the Admiral is on? Yeah, Huckle, we don't have a boat. True. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> hey! Maybe we can borrow that floaty! Woohoo! like the Admiral in the painting. He's even holding the same kind of steering wheel. Good work, Sally! Let's sail over there! <laughs> Ahoy, Admiral! We need some help finding the artist who painted your portrait. Someone painted a portrait of me? Oh, no! He doesn't look like the Admiral in the picture after all. Hmm. Uh, sorry we bothered you, sir. We thought you were the Admiral in this picture, but you're not him. Ah, the great Admiral Hornblast. The first commander of the Busy Town Sailing Fleet. <gasps> he knows him. Now we're getting somewhere. You should have no problem finding Admiral Hornblast. Go to Busy Town Central Square. He's always there. You can't miss him. Thank you, sir. Glad I could be of service. Raise the sail! We're going ashore! I thought he said Admiral Hornblast is always here in Central Square. Yeah, but no one here looks like him. Maybe he went home for lunch. Excuse me, sir. We're looking for... Admiral Hornblast? <laughs> you walked right past him. We did? I didn't see him. Where is he now? Uh, that's him, Admiral Hornblast. 
He's a statue? The mystery painter was painting a picture of this statue. But a statue can't talk, so he can't tell us who the mystery painter is. Hey, look at these paint spots. They match the color in the painting. You're right, Loli. Maybe the artist spilled the paint when the wind blew his painting away. Look, more paint drips to follow. Maybe they'll lead us to the mystery artist. Let's follow that paint. These paint drips have to stop somewhere. Oh, uh, <laughs> Looks like our paint trail ends here. Vincent Van Goat Art Studio. Hello, were you knocking? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yep, that was us. Excuse me, Mr. Van Goat, but did you paint a picture of the statue in Central Square? <gasps> yes, but the wind blew it away before I could finish it. Oh, and it was going to be a masterpiece. Is this it? Yes, you found my painting. Now I can finish it. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> Goldbug here with an exciting news update. Huckle, how did you find the artist behind the unfinished painting? Well, Goldbug, here's how it happened. We noticed the funny hat in the painting, so we went to see Mr. Hatfield, who told us it was an admiral's hat. Then we went to sea and found an admiral, but he wasn't the right one. Then we found the right admiral, but he was a statue who couldn't talk. Finally, we followed the paint drips back to Vincent Van Gogh's art studio, and the painting does belong to him. Hooray! Hooray for Huckle! Of course, I couldn't have done it without my busy team, but... Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. The missing masterpiece is back with Mr. Van Goat, thanks to the masters of mystery solving, Huckle, Loli, and Sally. This is Goldbug, and that's the big picture in Busy Town. I'm glad you can finish your painting now, Mr. Van Goat. So am I. Even better, now that I can add my new friends to the picture. <laughs> What about me? And me! I'm more strong and handsome. No, you're not, Pigwell. I am. No way, Pigwell. I am. No, you're not. Ask anyone. Here you go. A picture just for you. Huh? Ah, did I mention I like to draw cartoons as well? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> now that's a masterpiece. I don't look like that. Yes, you do. But I don't. <laughs>